Welcome to Muscle in the Morning, brought to you by Iron Mag Labs. Make your mark. I'm Dave Palumbo, and today is Tuesday, February 9th, 2016. And let's find out what's going on in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. Cleveland sports fans haven't had much to smile about over the last few decades. But maybe all that is about to change. Four weeks out from hitting the stage in front of his hometown crowd at the Arnold Classic, John Meadows has all engines cranking at full throttle. This week, the Mountain Dog was seen smashing triceps in preparation for his upcoming 212th Slugfest. The uber-shredded Meadows is going to have his hands full wrestling with some of the division's top talent. But if he can manage to pull a rabbit out of a hat and walk away with a win, it might legitimately be the biggest win Cleveland sports have had in over four decades. John Meadows is going to have to ride that hometown wave of momentum as far as it can carry him, because it might take all that and then some to contend with the likes of Jose Raymond. Over the weekend, the Boston Mass released his first official progress photos in quite some time, showing off that trademark Jose Raymond nastiness, combined with a much smaller and tighter waistline than we've seen at this point in the past. Raymond was last year's Arnold 212 champion, and he heads into this year's event as the prohibitive favorite to take home the title once again. And with another four weeks to keep chipping away and making improvements, this could very well be the best version of Raymond we've ever seen. To quote the late great James Brown, watch out now, because here comes Yurishna Ayala. After sitting out most of the 2015 season, the Puerto Rican bombshell looks like she's back and better than ever. Recently, the former junior national champion was seen sneaking in a late night booty blasting session, adding a little bit more ammo to her already dangerous arsenal. The bikini division is a wide open race in most of the pro circuit shows, and a talent like Ayala has a real shot to move in and clean up with a few key wins if she picks her shows correctly. And once she decides she's ready to suit up and get back on the bikini stage, watch out competition. We're still a ways off from kicking things off at one of the year's big national competitions. But perennial pro card contender Benny Brantley looks like he's ready to get the party started early. Brantley has been a fixture on the national scene for some time now, having placed in the top 10 of at least one pro qualifier every year dating back to 2009. At last year's USA Championships, Brantley brought in his biggest look yet, but wasn't quite hard enough to make his way into the first callout. But with another solid offseason under his belt and a head start on the game, perhaps this will be the year we finally see Brantley break through and earn his IFBB Pro card. Coming off a breakout season that saw him earn his first pro win at the Toronto Super Show before going on to take the stage for his first career 212 Olympia appearance, Zane Watson is ready to make his presence felt once again this season. At the moment, Watson is currently sitting at a very lean 245 pounds and seems to have packed on loads of new muscle since the close of last season. At just 27 years old, Watson is just now beginning to enter into the prime of his career. And with the flashes of brilliance that we saw last season, I think it's a safe bet to say that the best of Zane Watson is still yet to come. And that does it for yet another edition of Muscle in the Morning, brought to you by Iron Mag Labs. Make your mark. Check out ironmaglabs.com today. I'm your host, Dave Palumbo, reminding you to always be true to your passions. And make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Hey guys, it's Stevie B here. If you like what you're seeing, hit the subscribe button below and never miss another RX Muscle show, segment, or update. RX Muscle is number one. Woo!